SOA versus BPM versus ITIL. Hi, my name is Philippe Pinto and this is a video in which we're going to analyze the trends of BPM, Business Process Management, SOA, Service Oriented Architecture and ITIL, IT Information Library. To do this, uh, we will be using Google Trends. In case you don't know, you can check it out at www.google.com forward slash trend. And here we are uh, in front of the Google Trends interface where we previously entered the word BPM. And as you can see, the trend has been going down. Believe it or not, you can see over here that the attention it has been getting on the news is increasing. Apparently, the search volume is decreasing. Another important thing that we can see over here is that it is the Netherlands, um, the, 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 the country where most of the searches are originating. And um, you can see that actually India is on the bottom of that scale. Analyzing the trends of SOA, you can see that they actually have a totally different uh, trend. They actually going up in a proportional way to what is the coverage on the news. A very important aspect is what are the countries that are looking to SOA. And you can see again that the Netherlands uh, is getting the lead in terms of looking for SOA. And the interesting thing is that India now steps from the last in the list to the second in the list. And apparently it is from Bangalore that most of the search is coming from. As you can see, and this is very interesting, the United States is last on that analysis on those trends. Now, a very interesting thing is to see how is BPM comparing with SOA. And we here clearly see that they actually are having different trends. Whereas one is going down, the other one is going up. Again, the Netherlands seems to be the one where most of these search topics come from. It is nonetheless very interesting to see that is in India, there's a huge disproportion towards SOA in, instead of BPM. So SOA is a lot more important. And it is in the Netherlands where they um, actually are more balanced than BPM uh, is taking the lead. Now, a very interesting one to see is how is SOA and ITIL uh, doing? And we can see that they are basically having a similar trend even though SOA has a lot more coverage in the news. And finally, I wanted you to see BPM and ITIL. And you can see that um, they actually have different curves, which makes us believe that if we are now at here SOA, as another, as another graphic, you can see that SOA, ITIL are having similar trends. What does this mean? We conclude that BPM is losing the war, quote unquote, against SOA. SOA is actually uh, taking the lead. Another very important uh, aspect is that we seem to be bombarded with BPM all the time. And in a way, it's true. There's the BPM forums, and it's all about BPM and very organized. Nonetheless, even though uh, in the media, the, the, the talking about BPM is increasing, the number of people looking for it is decreasing. Um, so uh, as we saw, you know, is growing. Uh, both in number of searches and in the media coverage. Now, the most important factor from these deductions, the most important one is actually that ITIL and SOA, ITIL and SOA have similar trends. And this is very important towards our conclusion, is that we are seeing that even though BPM is not making the strides into the business, it is making it under the 
uh, ITIL. So what we're saying is that BPM is in fact reaching the organization and it's reaching the organization through the IT department. This concludes our presentation. Thank you for watching. Uh, please check us online at www.m2msysonline.com. Uh, we plan to have uh, many snippets like this in the near future. Thank you very much.